A little-known rule prevented Zara Tyndall from receiving a wedding gift that Kate enjoyed. Even though it had been a few months since their wedding, Zara Tyndall was denied the wedding gift that Princess Kate was allowed to receive. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Unlock. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. Although Zara Tyndall and Kate, Princess of Wales, married just a few months apart in 2011, Zara was denied the wedding gift Kate received on her big day, all because of very specific royal customs. Millions of fans around the world watched Prince William's wedding to Princess Kate on April 29, 2011 at Westminster Abbey, more than 13 years ago. On his wedding day, William received a special honor and gift from his late grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, who gave him a new title and made him the Duke of Cambridge with Kate as his Duchess. Just a few months later, on July 30, Princess Anne's daughter married England rugby star, Mike Tyndall, at Canongate Kirk on Edinburgh's Royal Mile. However, the Tyndale family had no such title when they married, which is due to a very specific royal custom dating back several centuries. On the day of Prince William's wedding, the late Queen's press secretary issued a statement saying, The Queen has today been pleased to confer a dukedom on Prince William, Prince of Wales. His titles will be Duke of Cambridge, Earl of Wales. Strathairn and Baron Carrickfergus Prince William will therefore become His Royal Highness, and the Duke of Cambridge and Miss Catherine Middleton on marriage will become Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cambridge. The marriage, which meant that William and his brother Prince Harry were eligible, Harry became the Duke of Sussex and Meghan became the Duchess of Sussex when they married on May 19, 2018. This means that neither Peter Phillips, Zara's brother, nor Princess Beatrice or Eugenie are granted a peerage once they marry. Zara and Peter's mother, Princess Anne, initially rejected the idea of her children receiving royal titles, something Zara has since said she was happy about. Zara Tyndall explained her reasons on Rob Borrow's Total Sport program. From my perspective, I was very lucky that my mother didn't give us any titles, so I really credit her for that. We were very lucky that we were able to do it our own way, she explained. My family also have a great work ethic which I hope they have instilled in me and continues to this day. Zara and Mike currently live at the Princess Royals Gatcombe Park Estate in Gloucestershire with their three children, Mia, Lena, and Lucas. Zara and Peter were also not automatically given HRH titles at birth because their father, Captain Mark Phillips, was not a prince. According to the rules, only the children and grandchildren of the King's children and the children of the Prince of Wales' eldest son can automatically inherit the titles of HRH. The late Queen offered courtesy titles to both Zara and Peter, but their parents rejected them. Princess Anne reflected on her decision in 2020 while speaking to Vanity Fair and said, I think most people would argue that there are downsides to having titles. So I think that was probably the right thing to do.